Dear FX, coming at you on a unique Wednesday ECB day. As most of you know, normally this is a Thursday deal. Today it is Wednesday. We get the policy decision, 1245 Swiss time. Uh, sorry, 145 Swiss time, and then... Um, press conference at 2.30 Mr. Draghi what's he going to say probably going to be dovish he's probably going to talk about downside risk and everyone is kind of waiting to see what else he says about LTROs the conference uh, the press conference is going to be um the mover, uh, if there is a mover. Otherwise, um, we have Italian manufacturing, French industrial production, some some European centric numbers, which could move the euro a little bit. But people are going to be on hold, waiting for Dr. Draghi to come into the house. Take a look at the charts uh, and see what we think is going to happen this morning. Here's the ES chart. Bearish engulfed. Would have been nice to close below 80. Uh, at two minutes before the close, we were trading down at 78, and then we blipped up there. Quick five handles, which isn't really the best sign, frankly. Um, this could easily be a fake out. So we're still keeping it social on the tactical book. We obviously have structures on the downside on the medium term book through options. Looks like we can sell this thing um, 89.94 today. Uh, we will be adding just tiny stuff through the lows because after a bearish engulfing through the lows confirms we obviously have not seen through the lows which is why this is one of the more conservative bearish engulfing a proper bearish engulfing is you close the lows in the first hour of the next day you're already lower um, this this one I would call it conservative so we're gonna sell some high ones and then we're gonna have a look at the picture if we start trading through the lows again uh, which were 77 and a quarter so let's call it 2877 it's going to be a very interesting point today if we see it we look around uh, FX dead 12 point range overnight uh, you look at that bar on the dailies Doji, Gravestone Doji, through the lows, should see follow through. The problem with technicals when we're when we're seeing so much, so little volume and so few people playing, is the technicals are just weak. Um, you know, I don't want to get into what are technicals, but technicals are basically telling you the psychology of the crowd. Um, and when the crowd's not around, technicals are weak. So it's like a crazy self-fulfilling prophecy. The ranges are small. There's no money to be made. The signals are weak because nobody's playing. Um, like I said, keep your powder dry. I've said this uh, 50 times in the last month. Keep your powder dry and get ready. Um, for the event that turns this. Yesterday wasn't really the event. Could have been because these events come from left field. Uh, Putin was talking about oil. Uh, that was shaking things up a bit. That could have been that could have been our number. But if you look at oil here, we just kind of dojied as well. Opened and closed basically where we started. We we just couldn't hold down there in the high 63s. And what we really wanted yesterday was a bearish engulfing. Didn't get close to that. So 
I mean, I would call it mildly bearish uh, yesterday, but really almost neutral. Open and close, same place. This could easily go higher now through highs um, or proceed further through the lows. Oil for us has been tradable. We have a we have a tidy average um, on a very very small position, pretty pretty much meaningless uh, within the scope of the year's P and L, but. We're just watching it. We want to be vigilant because um, when this does turn, you know, it's up 42% on the year. Global growth uh, looks like it's slowing, uh, yet oil is rampaging higher. Doesn't make too much sense uh, to us. So we're, we're waiting for this thing to turn, and when it does, we plunge. Um, voila. So it looked bad yesterday, but then it turned out sort of neutral, moderately bad. Dollar yen, same thing. Looked pretty bad there for a second. This this hour here, zoop, 30, 25 ticks, which on your sort of average true range is, is well above uh, what we're looking for these days. Um, but then just couldn't couldn't finish the deal. You know, we, we trickled to 98, and now we're sideways here. Again, looks like downside's a weak side, but this kind of bar is just mildly bearish, right? Although that is more bearish than the ES bar, but it's not really telling. We're basically smack in the middle of the range, so we don't want to get too, too excited here. Urien, same deal. Had our big move down. Um, this is the dailies. Let's go to the hourlies. Had our big move down from 50 to 29. And we've been tinkering off. This point here, 97, is, is, is moderately interesting. This will be a line drawn today by the crowd. Sort of take this low here up to this guy here. Um, this will be drawn, and there'll be some action here. I would say through the figure. This is obviously going to be ECB driven if it goes. Again, we are core short on a tradable short, so we're selling, we're buying, we're selling, we're buying. The amount is poxy. Um, but we're just trying to stay involved a little bit so we have a feel for for where the exact break in the dam will be and that's what we're waiting for we're waiting for the dam to break and it could be today it could be three months from now so be balanced keep your wits about you let's not uh, jump the shark on this Aussie. On the Dubil comments, it went down to 09, then went back up to 42, and and where are we? We're really just not doing too much, as you can see. Sideways here. The 55 high was so short of meaningful. We were waiting up here uh, between 60 and 70. We didn't get paid. We have these tiny Aussie shorts, just like tiny Kiwi shorts just bored um, waiting for either 18 to break or 70 50 is really um, it's really the point we're really excited about again could happen today could happen three months from now could never happen Aussie could just continue higher um, but just pointing out the fact that very very slow stay very very patient um, today, obviously, we're going to see if there's follow through on that ES bar, the S and P's, and we're waiting for the ECB. Right? Um, we'll watch this French industrial uh, production and the Italian industrial production because there is a little bit of risk below, uh, technical risk below in Euro yen. Otherwise, we patiently wait for Draghi. I'll put some specific stuff up on Twitter as always. Uh, as we get closer to the announcements. 
I wish you all much profits and a good day ahead. Ciao.